good Thursday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I am your hostess, Natalie. And today's topic is going to be how to know an honest spiritual worker. Now, this might sound like a complicated topic, but it's really not. So I'm not sure how long my video will be. First off, how to, when you are seeking a spiritual guidance of some sort, I find that it, like anything else, when you're going to make a purchase, a major purchase of any kind, I find that it's useful to read reviews. So if you have a, a spiritual worker that you've heard about, that you're interested in, read reviews about this person. Find out if this person can give you references, can uh, has a website that looks legitimate, that's been established for a time, that has a place for people to leave reviews do they tend to remove negative reviews too because like it or not any element of honesty is going to include the negative as well as the positive especially in spiritual work spirit work is something that's very personal to each individual and so it's one of those things where you know you're going to have your people that are frauds and you're going to have your people that are are really not gifted in the manner that they claim to be that are there to make money because they think it's an easy buck now i personally have an issue with that because to me you're toying with people's lives when you do that and that's always going to bring something negative back to you if you're being dishonest however you know a lot of people do seek out spiritual workers how long has the person been established in doing their work uh, what is their background um, is it something that they charge exorbitant fees for if they charge a really really large fee for something they're probably not being too terribly honest. Um, reasonable fees. And if, as far as what's a reasonable fee for something, look around, do your research. As I will say with anything in this path, do your research. Look at what kind of reading are they giving you? How is the reading being delivered? What do other spiritual workers charge for that type of service? If it's a, a distance service, um, like a Reiki healing or something like that, how is it going to be delivered to you and how will you know? Um, and, and bear in mind that as with anything, as with any service you receive, nothing is guaranteed. So you might have a really bad experience with something that somebody else had a really good experience with. It's it's something that you, you've got to keep in mind things change. Nothing is set in stone in the universe until it happens. And so it's something that you need to keep in mind. But look at whether or not this person has both negative and positive reviews if everything is glowing and raving i would probably tend to question at least some of the integrity if you've got other people that are leaving reviews that say well you know this didn't really happen the way i was expecting or what have you and you can kind of see engaged do they have more positive than negative uh what are the negative reviews does it sound like it's somebody that's got an honest legitimate complaint or is it somebody that just was looking for something that was impossible and never going to happen and when they didn't get it then they were upset about it so look at the type of reviews that are being left and what is being said in the reviews and really try to read between the lines of what's being said and done in the reviews uh, another way to know whether the person is being honest with you is by asking the right kinds of questions asking them again how they're going to deliver the reading uh, what is their success rate with whatever it is that they're doing or what have people said again are they willing to give you reviews can they uh, give you information about the history and background of what they're doing that seems legitimate and again this is going to require some research on your part if you are not familiar with tarot and how tarot works or the different types of spreads that are there or what can be done or how a tarot reading works and that person is kind of sketchy in their information to you then i would be a little concerned that that person's not being on the up and up as with anything else too go with your instinct rely on your own natural intuition do you feel like this person is being honest with you. Is there a little voice in the back of your head saying, I don't know about this, this just something doesn't feel right. If something doesn't feel right, go with that instinct, leave. Don't give the person your money. Don't, you know, anything like that. Uh, move along and don't, um, don't uh, do any work with this person. If 
you if your instinct is telling you if you have little bells going off or something doesn't seem right or mm, you're just not sure about this one then then listen to that voice that to me is the number one key thing if i get a feel for somebody that makes me uncomfortable or that i kind of go mm, i'm not sure about that one then i tend to just stay away from you know that kind of working uh, look a little bit at their background as well. How much information do they give you about themselves personally? I mean, I don't like to give a lot of personal information about myself out, but I'm pretty open and honest about uh, how long I've been doing what I do. Um, I, I was very uncomfortable with doing services and readings for other people. It was just a request of other people that I started doing it. Um, I was kind of squeamish about charging for services because I wasn't sure what was a fair rate. Uh, my thing is that when I do a reading, it's always intuitive. I don't ask the person a lot of questions. I don't even ask much about what they're wanting to know uh, in terms of topic or what have you. Uh, is it family related? Is it work related? I prefer not to know because if I know that might influence the way I read the cards or I read the OM, or what I see in a scry. So what I will do is I will simply say, keep the question in your mind and, you know, send me that in energy um, so that I can draw a reading based on that. And I'll do whatever spread I'm doing and I'll tell them, this is what I see. This is what the cards are telling me. And I've been told that it's quite accurate much of the time. Now, keep in mind that spiritual workings are things that are very subjective. They're not really objective because it's personal. It's related to each individual. So that person's going to apply your interpretations in the manner that's best suited to them. That's where, unfortunately, spiritual working gets a lot of its charlatan type of reputation because things are not exact. You know, oh, it's so general, da 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 your daily horoscope is so general. How can they say this is going to apply? You can apply this in whatever way that you see fit to your life. You can always make it work. Blah, 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 blah. And that's, that's true to an extent. The thing is, is when you're doing a reading for somebody and they have a specific question in mind, uh, you could give a reading that's way, way, way off base. You could, you know, if you, if you are not legit, if you're going, oh, I see that, you know, um, you're going to be traveling soon when the person's just been put on quarantine because they aren't, can't travel then they know you're going to be BSing. I mean, you know, that would be something I would look at. And, and that's the other thing is how do you know? It's difficult to determine a person's honesty because some people are very good liars. Some people truly believe they have a gift when there's nothing there. And some people don't realize they have a gift when they really do. So um, when you are talking about knowing an honest spiritual worker, if you do a, a little working with somebody and it seems really off base and you're not getting a good feel, then I would cease working with that person as well. Sometimes you won't know till you've sunken into it. So that's why I say if they're charging an exorbitant rate for a reading or something like that, uh, obviously that you know, I would be cautious about that. Um, then I would really be looking into this person's background. Um, I would want references. I would want to see reviews from other people. I would want to talk to other people that were familiar and do that by all means. Talk to other people in the community that you see have had some sort of working with this person or ask in a general question. Is anybody familiar with this particular light worker or what have you? And you know, what have been your experiences or what have you seen? you will find a lot of information from there. I know that there was a company on Facebook and I hesitate to, to name this company outright simply because of you know, the possibility of lawsuits that uh, may pursue. But I can tell you that when people ask me about my experience with this company, I do not recommend this company at all. I found them to be uh, highly dishonest. Their work is shoddy and not worth what you pay for it if you get what you paid for at all. And I do know that there's a whole group on Facebook uh, about the dishonesty of this particular company. So if you're curious about it, let me know personally and I can tell you who it is, but I'm not gonna announce it publicly um, just for my own protection. But it was, you know, if I had researched this company more rather than just going, oh, that looks like a great thing and, and 
making a purchase with them, I might have saved myself a little bit of money. Fortunately, I didn't sink a lot of money into them. I do know people that placed very large orders with this company and never got it. Never got their money back, never got their product, and um, they're trying to file lawsuits now against the company for theft of you know, money and services. So, in terms of knowing and how to know an honest spiritual worker, my three guidelines, just to wrap it up, do your research. Look at reviews. Ask other people if they've had experience with this person. What are they doing? Know the person's background and see what information they give about themselves and their background, how they do their workings, what kind of working is it? Does it seem like it's fair compared to other uh, similar workers or similar types of workings? And go with your instinct. That is the best advice I can give you. If you're getting a hmm feel, if there's something that's making you go hmm, Listen to that voice. That is very, very important because that's going to be your biggest determiner of, you know, this is maybe somebody I don't want to go with. If, if they're giving you a lot of contradictory information or they're saying one thing and then the next day they say something different, you're kind of like, hmm, hmm, I'm not so sure I get a good feel for that. Go with that instinct. That's the best advice I can give you. I uh, hope this has been useful to you. Please give me your comments, share your experiences. We always appreciate it. And thank you again for watching, which is the move. Blessed be.